Henry Ford Health unveils a new space for a program proven to help infant and maternal outcomes in the city of Detroit. Paula Tutman joined the ribbon cutting ceremony and shows how this program could be game changing for infants, mothers and expected mothers. One, two, three. At today's ribbon cutting for the rededication and introduction of the WIN Network Group Prenatal Care Center in Detroit, Two sisters who embody the importance of the program. Courtney Anderson with baby number three on the way and her sister Essie Boatwright, a mother of three living children and a fourth, she says, lies in the arms of heaven after an accident. They called me on a daily basis to make sure I was okay, to see if I needed anything, to see if my other children needed anything, to see um, what it was that they can do to help me. WIN is an acronym for Women Inspired Neighborhood. The prenatal care model using science-based data has improved the outcomes of babies and mothers, particularly minority babies born to economically disadvantaged mothers by changing the way health care is delivered. Many of these challenges around health disparities and not having the same outcomes and black women dying two or three times more than white women, infants dying two or three. In the city of Detroit alone, we've had about 200 babies that die in a given year, although that rate's coming down. It comes from even historically, I mean, there's things like structural racism that have contributed to why women don't trust systems, why they don't get the same level of care necessarily because there are biases. With the WIN Network Group Prenatal Care Center, Center. Women step into one office space, won't wait for hours for their appointment. That affects work and all the other stuff. I'm going to have to pick a kid up or something like that. Get their checkups and then join fellow mothers for support, lessons, and information about parenting and their own health care. Watching my blood pressure and everything, and they helped me with that. Not only that, like after I didn't had my first baby and stuff like that, didn't know they was going to follow me for a whole year to make sure he was good and that I was good for like my mental state and stuff like that or if I needed anything. It's the circular chairs. These are special made because we have to be in a circle. And it's proven that the model works because for more than a decade, this kind of care model has been studied, evolved, studied, evolved, studied, and evolved again until a winning combination was found right down to the logo. Yeah, this is really interesting. So services for certified nurse midwives and community health workers, well, those are paid for by your state and federal tax dollars as well as some grant funding. But this is really important also. The insurance dollars are also taken, but if a family taken rather, but if a family doesn't have insurance, they'll be assisted in getting insurance. The important thing is moms and dads never get a bill. No one is ever turned away since the inception of this program with the help of science and of course input from the mothers who proudly say that they are literally carrying their communities in their bellies. There are actually marked and measurable improvements and outcomes for babies, mothers, and then of course, Christy, families as well. Absolutely, and it's so, it's a much needed program and really, but listening to the moms, Paula, that is the key and what they really truly need. Absolutely, and how they want to be portrayed. Thanks so much, Paula.